takes minimal tension on the leash to give your dog a gentle and clear signal that you want him to change his behavior. Never jerk or yank the leash. A smooth, gentle pull is all you'll need to communicate positively and effectively with your dog. It's important to learn the proper timing of releasing the tension on the leash. If you're used to holding back a pulling, lunging dog on a traditional collar, you've unconsciously gotten used to keeping constant tension on the leash. If you keep constant tension on the leash with the gentle leader, it will send a confusing signal to your dog, causing him to fight it. Here's why. With the gentle leader, when there's tension on the leash, it will apply pressure to the back of the neck and across the bridge of the nose. This pressure sends a signal to your dog, no, that isn't what I want you to do. So it's very important that you release all tension immediately as soon as your dog is doing what you want. In essence, this is what you're saying to your dog. Tension on the leash means, no, that isn't what I want you to do. Release the tension means, yes, that's what I want. Tension should be completely on or off. To your dog, tension means no, and release of tension means yes. It's not like volume control, where a little tension means sort of do something different. To achieve consistent behavior, it's important that you send clear signals to your dog. The ultimate goal is to teach your dog to walk on a completely loose leash without any tension. Never keep constant tension on the leash for more than 10 to 15 seconds. Try this little drill to help you get the feeling for the on-off idea of tension on the leash. Hold the leash with just your two middle fingers in the handle loop. Notice when your dog pulls slightly, you can feel the pressure on your fingers. As soon as you feel tension, make a choice so that you avoid giving your dog a mixed signal. Either provide a bit more tension on the leash with a gentle pull to change his behavior, or release all the tension because your dog is doing what you want, walking nicely, standing, or sitting calmly. The great thing about this leash drill is that you'll become more aware of how little tension is required to communicate with your dog. You'll be amazed that you can easily control your dog with just two fingers. Caution, be sure to practice this drill in a safe enclosed area just in case you drop the leash. Dogs come in all different shapes and sizes and their first reactions to gentle leader can be just as varied. Many dogs accept gentle leader immediately without any fuss. For others, the new sensation of wearing something on their face feels a bit strange at first. They may react by pawing, rubbing, rolling on the ground, opening the jaws wide, or standing up on their hind legs. These are the same kinds of reactions a puppy has the first time it wears a collar, or the first time a foal wears a halter. Some dogs react for only a few minutes, while others may carry on quite a bit longer. A few dogs may resist each time the gentle leader is put on for several days or even weeks. With a little patience and motivating rewards, most dogs will settle down quite nicely and the two of you will enjoy stress-free walks together. The two most important things to minimize your dog's reactions to the gentle leader are making sure you've got the right fit and using proper loose leash technique. As a general rule, the dogs that seem to resist the most are often the same ones whose owners will benefit the most from greater control. Your biggest challenge may be your own reaction. Some owners try to comfort and soothe their dogs by using phrases like, it's okay, you're fine. But the best strategy is to ignore pouty or resistant behavior and redirect them to a more pleasurable activity. As soon as you put the gentle leader on your dog, take him out for a short, interesting walk to distract him. Tap your leg, use a happy voice to encourage him. Toss a toy or offer a treat to encourage your dog to walk forward with you on a loose leash. Remember to release all tension on the leash when your dog is walking calmly at your side. If you keep constant tension on the leash, you'll only encourage him to struggle more. Let's look at a few examples of first reactions and how to work through them. Some dogs pitch quite a fit. Common resistance behaviors include pawing at the nose loop, rolling on the ground, standing up on their hind legs, etc. It can almost seem like a mini temper tantrum. Distract your dog from all the fuss by luring him with a tempting treat. You can hold the treat in your closed target hand to encourage him to walk forward with you, giving him the treat as a reward after he's walked a few steps without fussing. Gradually increase the distance he needs to walk before he gets the treat. You can also hold a toy in your hand or even toss it on the ground a little ways in front of him to get him to go forward for it. Just be sure you allow complete slack in the leash when he moves forward to get the toy. 
Pat your leg and use upbeat words to encourage him to walk alongside you. If he stands up on his hind legs, gently cup your hand under his jaw and ease him into a sit, releasing the tension as soon as his bottom hits the ground. Always remember to release all tension on the leash whenever he's doing what you want. Be patient and don't give in, and the resistant behavior will soon fade. If your dog tends to lag behind, don't try to drag him with a tight leash, as that will put pressure on the back of the neck and cause him to pull back even more. Instead, encourage him forward with upbeat, happy words like, Come on, boy, let's go. That's it, good boy. Use a higher-pitched voice, luring with tasty treats or a favorite toy. You can give an occasional very gentle tug on the leash for just a second or so to get him started. When he decides to come forward, make sure there is no tension on the leash and reward him with praise, a treat, or a toy. He'll soon discover that the most fun place to be is at your side. A few dogs will lie down, seeming to pout and unwilling to move. Don't try to drag him up off his feet, and don't try to comfort or reassure your dog saying things like, It's okay, buddy. This isn't going to hurt you. Your dog will interpret that as praise for his pouty behavior. Instead, use the same techniques as for dogs who lag behind. If this doesn't work, another option is to simply wait him out. If you're in a safe area, you can actually walk away and ignore the behavior. Sooner or later, just lying there will get very boring, especially if others are having fun with toys or a picnic or other activities. When he finally decides to get up and join the party, be sure to make it fun for him with treats or toys and words of praise.